You believe it is difficult to think of innovations, to discover something new that can positively change our lives? Often the idea itself isn't the most difficult part. Much more complex is designing the implementation for the user and establishing the product in the marketplace. But why is that? One of our researchers recently invented a new laser microscope. A laboratory model already exists. But before this product can be brought to market, our researchers must overcome many challenges, such as certification or preparation for industrial production. Perhaps a big investor could help. They won't want to expose themselves to any risk and will demand proof that there will be market acceptance by potential purchasers. The purchaser, for their part, will want to test the product before buying it, which means it must be in production. Bureaucratic obstacles and strict data protection guidelines make it even more difficult for the researcher. One such problem, for example, are safety standards. To fulfill these, after a technical test, the relevant data must be clinically studied. Another problem is that the certification processes can take many years. For many small to middle-sized concerns, it is not possible to finance such lengthy periods. It is this treacherous closed loop which roots into the so-called valley of death of innovation. So, how do we protect good ideas from becoming dried out? The solution is a network comprised of technology, healthcare professionals, clinical users and the industry itself. In this way, we are able to bring all interested parties together. By coming together early on, it is possible to jointly detect and overcome hurdles and obstacles to success. And when this expert network is also able to connect with health insurance funds and political decision makers, the chances that an idea can be developed into a successful product are increased.